Hi guys, this is a review of the Empow H20 Bluetooth headphones. Um, previously I did a review of the Empow H5 Bluetooth headphones, which are similar. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go through the differences here and there in them. Uh, I just want to mention right off the bat that the one thing to note that's, you know, very apparent in these is that these ones do not have active noise cancellation. Uh, so there's no switch over here. Uh, they won't, you know, uh, they won't actively uh, give the uh, canceling vibrations from the speakers. Um, so the only noise cancellation is coming from these earmuffs that cover your ears and like kind of form a cavity around your ears uh, and have some decibel reduction due to the material of these earmuffs. So that being said, um, you know, I've had these ones for about a week now. I've used them for music all day, phone calls all day. Uh, battery life is good for how much I've used them. Um, I have to charge them nightly. I like charging them nightly because, uh, you know, my phone, uh, I have a, you know, Android device, Google Pixel 3. Um, in the Bluetooth settings and even when it's connected to the headphones, it does show me the battery percentage that is left over the state of charge of the battery in these headphones. Um, so it does drop a little bit. Uh, Ampow states that this uh, had all of their headphones have 30 hour uh, battery life. I haven't tested them for that long without charging them. Uh, I like to charge them nightly. That way I can be sure that they will last me the whole day uh, when I wake up and unplug them. So I did notice a little bit of gray noise um, when nothing was playing. Um, having them connected to my phone and, uh, you know, just having nothing playing, there was like a soft kind of gray noise as if like a fan was going in the background. But as soon as you hit the play button on the phone, um, pin drop silence, you know, immediate first thing you notice is that the gray noise, the fan noise will go away. It's very subtle to begin with. You can barely hear it, but I for some reason can hear it uh you know as soon as you hit the play button first like it'll be completely quiet and then your music will start playing so it doesn't happen during the music uh at least that's what i noticed um again no active noise cancellation on these ones uh, but the sound quality is pretty nice um these are using the newest audio chip from csr and the connectivity with the mobile devices, whether you're connecting it to your phone or your MacBook, iPhone, Android device, uh, the connectivity uh, does support Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, so if your phone or device does support Bluetooth 5, you will get better audio codec support. Um, I have a Pixel 3 and it shows that my music is being streamed using the AAC codec, which is a higher quality audio codec than SBC, uh, which was used on the old Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, so all the older Ampow devices have been using Bluetooth 4 to stream the music. Um, these headphones physically are a lot nicer than the other ones uh, that I've seen, uh, especially the Ampow H5s. Like, you know, design-wise, they look a bit better. Um, and they feel a bit nicer in the hands as well. Uh, these feel lighter, and if there was one word that I could use to describe them, these would be, I would say, softer. Like, you know, the the earmuff material is, is very soft. It's, uh, you know, feels nice around your ears. Um, the H5s, what I noticed after a while was that, uh, you know, they would kind of, after a few hours, I would have a little bit of, you know, discomfort around my ears. Um, these ones, you know, I can wear for a long time and minimal, you know, like if any. Um, these are very soft and very light. Another thing I did notice was that these tend to stay on my head uh, a bit better. Uh, so they don't, they don't tend to fall off as much. Um, so I guess that these would be better suited for uh, working out with. Uh, where you're like, you know, standing up, sitting down, or like moving around a lot, these would be a bit better for those ones. Um, yeah, so they feel they feel a bit more connected to your head is, uh, I guess, a better way to put it. 
Um, overall, great pair of headphones for the price point. I got them for $40. Uh, m has got themselves another winner with these ones. So, yeah, definitely do recommend these. All right, guys, that was my review. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.